So here we are, Stokoa Gap, about to get started on the AT, headed up here, going to go to Cable Gap Shelter tonight, and on to Fontana. We'll catch up with you guys down the trail. Bye, Mom. So I'm here with my nephew, Dane, hiking, and uh, the sign here has been tore down, but at least we can still read it, but uh, we might stop it. Brown Fork Gap for a break or something, but we're gonna stay at Cable Gap, which is a little bit further. It's kind of hard to see. We can see through the trees. We're pretty, pretty good ways up. Of course, uh, we're going up from here, even higher. Pretty good climb coming up. It's gonna be rough. We'll see how it goes. Catch up with you guys in a bit. As you can see, we're getting pretty high up. That mountain over there is a little bit higher. Still, it's a long way down. I can't see anything down there. Here's a pretty cool section. It's kind of a little bit of a valley there. And the trail kind of winds down. You see Dane there. And goes up keep falling those white blazes we'll catch up with you after a couple more blazes so here we are uh, coming into brown brown fork it goes like 550 feet of elevation in like a mile and a like 1.2 miles I don't know uh, about you. Seems pretty steep to me, but there's the next blaze from here. It's like kind of almost straight up. Uh, we'll see what it gets into. Yeah, I don't see any switchbacks. I think it's just gonna be straight up. And uh, I will say my calves are feeling better. I think they've just accepted the fact that they're about to get abused today. <laughs> we'll we'll catch up with you guys in a blaze. <laughs> as you can see, as you can see here, this section. Is much more enjoyable going down than up. What are you talking about? Down would be so much harder. <laughs> I guess either way, it's pretty brutal. It's pretty slick. Look at all the people have slid down it. You can see how far up we are. quite a ways. Now I can't zoom back out. It's a pretty steep climb out of Stokoa Gap, I'll tell you that. Here we are at the summit. You can see the road down there. Barely. The mountain's off in the distance. Just between Brown Fork Gap or whatever shelter. We should be coming up on it pretty soon. Is that my trail name or real name? Just signed the trail log here at Brown Gap Shelter 2020 section hike. Stopped here for lunch. If you look real hard, right in the center, you can see Fontana Lake right there. Getting closer. Still got a ways to go though. Going up that way. And we just went down all these rocks and over that rock. It's pretty rough actually. And it's wet and slick. It's like boulder hopping here. Again, you can see Fontana Lake. As you can tell, we're pretty high up still. We're kind of making our way down. Hopefully it's mostly downhill from here, but there's still some rough climbs. All right, onward, following the white blaze. No spaces. No space. So, so we just came down from that way. That's looking southbound. 
Got some man-made uh, benches here. And uh, that's northbound up that way. Just stopping to grab something to eat. It's starting to rain. It's not all sunshine and rainbows out here, folks. Put our rain uh, packs on, rain covers. And I think I'll better go ahead and put my rain jacket on. We'll this catch is, up with you guys in just a bit. This is the real So this is looking back toward the north. We uh, finally got, this is like uh, Cody Gap, I think, where we set up. Everybody set up tents over here. Cooking station, tents over there, and hammocks. And that's where we'll be headed in the morning. And then uh, my tent here, and Dane's tent there. It is a little breezy and very chilly. And as you can see, the fog is moving in. I actually thought they had started a fire, but it was just the fog. So that's looking back southbound. Just walked out of camp. I had to walk all the way down there to get the water. But the trail is from way over there. And then now we're headed northbound. And Dane's raring and ready to go. Here's actually a really nice camp spot. Over there by where Thunder Bear is. There's a uh, fire pit. And then you got all this room. You could easily fit four or five tents or hammocks. And then you turn around this way. The trail's literally right here. And then you have this view. Not too terrible of view. And actually, you can see the lake. I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera. It's like right there. Fontana Lake. Again. That's the goal. That is where we were headed. So we've been seeing a lot of these. I believe these are rhododendrons. They make little tunnels. The trail goes right through the middle. And on down that way. Dropped by 40 points. <laughs> we're here all here at the water source getting the refills on water. Looks delicious, doesn't it? This is actually a really good source right here. I'm just saying, try to make the this food. is uh, the shelter. What, what, what shelter is this? Uh, Cable Gap. Cable Gap. It's Cable Gap shelter. It's pretty small, but at least it's a little lower to the ground. You see all the hangers for your backpacks. And then you got your uh, water hanger over here. A little nail to hang to filter your water. And there's a privy back behind it. And we got another fresh water source over here. This one's even got a PVC pipe to make it even easier. There for you. Delicious water. And then uh, here's where we're headed. Five more, at least five and a half more miles to 28. It's all it's supposed to be one climb. And after that, all downhill. Hopefully it is not too bad. Sick right 50 feet from So we stopped up here. You can see the dam off over there getting closer. Pretty good view. As you can see there's Dane and this is an easy section of the trail. It's nice and wide. Easy walking. A lot of times it's like a drop off. It's like a foot, probably I don't know, 18 inches wide to walk and a drop off on the side. Check out this huge tree. Look how it's like spiraled. It's pretty cool. 
and literally the trail goes like right there and right between it and the end down there. It's pretty cool. So as you can see, the trail goes over all these boulders. You have to rock hop all of them. And literally, like right there, down through there, up there, over all those. A lot of climbing. It's not all just a flat trail, that's for sure. So we came from over here, went all along that ridge. We got up there, it was a pretty good view. We could see the dam. We thought, oh, we're almost there. Well, four miles later, went down all that, down and back around and down to here. And then we still gotta go way down there. And we still have to go down there. You can see the dam ways to go yet it's getting a little bit easier we'll catch up with y'all in a bit here's a little campsite we stopped off at look you can see the dam a little bit better the lake lake's really low i'm told they drained about 50 feet out of it to let the pressure off the dam but uh i'm not for sure that's just what i've been told we'll catch you up with y'all in a bit Oh, by the way, that's the Smokies over there on the other side, across the dam. The Great Smoky Mountains. We're almost there. Check out this little, like, cave. Pretty cool place. Walking across the Fontana Dam here. Smokies are on the other side. You can see it ends over there. 